Hi guys, welcome to the Five Barista Files. Uh, this is episode 19. Today is Monday, January 10th. Uh, well, let's see. Last week I left off showing you some of the white ash worsted that I've been working on dyeing and, and rescanning and getting into the shop. That's done. I got all of those done Saturday morning. I'm sorry about the sort of deplorable lighting in here. It's kind of late afternoon. Um, this is through the looking glass. This is one of the skeins of white ash worsted. It's about 245 yards for four ounces. Love that stuff. It's so smushy. So all those are up. I photographed them on Sunday when it was um, sunny, which we, wasn't in the forecast. So as soon as I got up and realized there was some sunshine, I ran out and took all the photos I could. Um, those will be going up in the shop this week. Um, the way Etsy's search features work. I have to list maybe one, maybe two a day and then wait another day and list some more because if you list them all at once you get buried in the um, search feature so that you're, if somebody searches worsted but you haven't listed something in three days, you're at the very bottom of everybody who's listed in the last three days. So I have to list just a little bit at a time which is kind of annoying and frustrating but it's the way Etsy works and if you know that and you, you can use it to your advantage. So I did that. The other thing I've been doing this week was I put together some thank you packages for my best customers. Um, I don't know anybody who does this and this, who knows, maybe this is like a marketing faux pas, but I really wanted to thank the people who had really supported the shop this year and who I felt deserved a little something extra for their support. I mean, these people didn't just buy from me and they did buy quite a bit. They um, talked about my shop in forums online. They mentioned me to their friends. They referred, you know, people who said, you know, somebody says, hey, I'm looking for soccer. And they said, oh, no, no, you need to shop here. They really, um, really came through for me in a big way. So I wanted to make them a little thank you. So this is a little box, which is a thank you gift. This one is Tina. This one is for you. It says Tina right there on the box. Tina. Um, what I did was I wrote a, a, just a newsletter, you know, the kind that you get from like family about what's going on this year. This one is, my printer ran out of ink, so I had to print another one, but, um, basically saying, here's what we did, here's what's in the box, here's what we're going to be doing. Um, I have a bunch of stuff planned for 2011 and those, especially those best customers, I want them to keep coming back. So the little newsletter, I also gave them, um, a lot of suppliers do this. When you get vendors, you'll see that they do these. Um, they do little sample cards. And these are the samples of the four yarns that I have. This is lace, sock, worsted, and bulky. And then the fibers that I have as well. This looks kind of silly because this card goes in the middle of it um, when I packaged it. But I have all my fibers here. It's the regular blue face lacer, the super wash. This is, and this isn't even in the shop yet. It needs to get up there soon. Of course, my lighting is so bad it's impossible to see, but this is mixed blue face lifester with silk. It's gorgeous and so soft. I also have Falkland Corydell Cross and the Superwash Merino Tencel, which um, is the softest stuff I've probably ever dealt with. So those were in the box. The letter was in the box. I also included a coupon. Ooh, I won't tell you what the coupon code is. Hang on. Mm -hmm. um, the coupon for 10% off of an order. Ooh, there goes the fiber floating past the screen. 10% uh, off a future purchase. And then I added some main made products. Um, I'd like to be putting these in the packages going forward. I would really, really, really like to be able to support other main businesses, especially those here in the Highlands. Um, this is just a little sachet of fur needles that I went tipping and got the fur from. It smells delicious. This is a little bundle of lavender. It's about two tablespoons full of lavender. This was grown here in the Highlands. And then finally, I added these little teeny tiny mini soaps. And these mini soaps are all different scents. This one is Lily of the Valley. They're from um, Will o' the Wisp soaps in Guilford, which is also in the Highlands. And they smell fantastic. This one's Lily of the Valley. I also have Honeysuckle Rose, White Lilac. That one's also, oh man, that smells good. Um, and Calendula Citrus, which is interesting, but also good. Um, so I just put a little bit of things in there. I didn't include any free, ooh, I have crazy hair, ooh. Um, sorry, I didn't include any free fiber or yarn, um, mostly because I'm really low in inventory right now. I would have loved to have done that. 
Um, but I, I'm low on inventory and with show season starting to ratchet up, I need to sort of hang on to what I've got, but they did get at least a teeny little bit so they could feel what, what it is that I've got, especially it's really hard to know. There goes the cat. It's really hard to know what yarn feels like if you are on the internet. So with the sample card, hopefully they'll say, Hey, that, that worsted weight yarn is actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll have to buy some. So those are going to be going out in the mail this week, probably tomorrow. So, um, Tina PS, you're one of them. Um, the rest of them, I have seven, eight, I have eight total. So those will, um, those will be going out this week. So if you watch this and you've spent a lot of money in my shop, maybe there's one for you. Uh, that's, I'm saying, uh, I'm sorry. I'm really tired today. It's Monday and I'm always more tired on Monday than any other day. Um, you can tell by the giant bags under my eyes. It's uh, it's nap time here in the Fiberista household. And if, if I get this done quickly enough, that's exactly where I'm headed. Um, so I thought I'd talk a little bit today, business-wise, about supplies. Um, it can be really hard to find an economical way to give people high-quality stuff. I sidestepped that when I opened my shop by stating quite clearly in my shop policies that I reuse as many materials as possible. This box is from Rite Aid. It, it had three ounce jar candles with dome lids. This had like six candles in it. I used to work at Rite Aid and I took all of the little boxes from all their seasonal stuff home with me. This box is incredibly lightweight. It's, I mean, it's not perfectly sturdy. You can see that the edges are all Bent, but this will get through the mail just fine. I make sure and I tape all the corners and all the edges. Um, but it's free. It costs me nothing. And I can ship first class, which if you are sending a package less than 13 ounces, you can ship first class, which is awesome because it's way cheaper than priority. You can get free boxes from priority. Um, priority will actually even ship them right to you, but you have to send them priority mail and it's a lot more expensive. You can charge more for shipping. So if a 8x8 box costs you $480 to ship, you can charge $480 in your shipping. Um, but I wanted really to keep my shipping costs low. So I use the free boxes that I found and I wrap all of my orders in plain grocery bags, shopping bags, plastic bags. Like I have one right here actually. Um, it's just a Hannaford plastic bag. Uh, the reason for that is to keep it a little bit protected in case the box gets wet. I don't want the fiber to get wet as well. Um, so I do reuse materials. However, now that it's 2011, I've been in business for a year, I would like to upgrade. Enter Bags Unlimited. Bags Unlimited is one of a million different vendors that you can use to get stuff. I bought some. Let me see if I can show you here. Everything. So now that I'm downstairs, I have everything I need right here at my hands. Um, these are... Comic book bags, if you can believe it. And they're very thin. They're like two, two mil, I think they are, plastic. And there's a little package right here. Now, what this is for is when I am shipping fiber, I'm going to put the fiber in the bag and then tape it shut. Easy peasy, perfectly dry, and safe which is awesome. Though I got a hundred bags, I think for 10 bucks, which is a little bit expensive, but especially there are some online shops that are going to be carrying my stuff and they have to have to be packaged in bags like that. So I'm going to do that. I won't do that for everyone, but I will do that for some of them. The other thing, and again, I'm gearing up for show season. And of course I won't be able to find it now. Um, this has those thank you bags the grocery shopping bags that are basically better than grocery shopping bags because they are plastic bags, but they don't have Hannaford logo on it. You can get the regular like t-shirt bags that look like this. You can get the clear plastic ones that are like for books and things like that. You can get all these bags. You can get, um, let's see, white or blue that says thank you on it. You can get a hundred bags for $16.95. You can get 500 bags for 58 bucks. I'm never going to use 500 bags. Um, but it would be really awesome if I could maybe find some plastic that would take ink, um, like a stamp, and have a Highland Handmade stamp made up. I could make a Highland Handmade stamp, and I could stamp the bags, and then, you know, I have my website walking around the fiber shows as people walk through. So that's one of the things that I really want to do. I cannot believe it has already been 10 minutes. Where does the time go? I don't know. Apparently, I spend too much time saying, um. So 
that's what I have for you today. It's Bags Unlimited or BagsUnlimited.com. Or is it Bags Unlimited? I think it's just BagsUnlimited.com. Um, but there are all kinds of things. You can get boxes to protect things. Um, you can get those clear plastic sleeves to put your patterns in. So when you are, um, when, you've, when you've got patterns and you're going to print them, like I am also going to be doing, the three ring binder pages, these things, those clear plastic sleeves, you can get those too. You can get all kinds of cool stuff. Um, that's definitely worth doing. So uh, I guess that's the only tip I have for you today. Uh, next week, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be podcasting about. So tune in next week and uh, maybe you'll learn something. <laughs> have a good week, guys. And until next week, happy spinning and knitting.